Hi, I'm Brian Yala, and I'm going to be introducing you to skateboarding. It's become very popular amongst teens and young adults in the United States and the rest of the world. You've probably seen people riding long boards or these little tiny skateboards called pennies. They're from Australia and pretty cool to go around. But today I'll be talking about the regular skateboard, the one that you can do all the fancy maneuvers and freestyle tricks. Now let's take a look to see how it's assembled. The hardest part is picking out what board you want to get because they come in different shapes and sizes. Oh, and some have a cool graphic too. Once you selected a deck, the next process is to get the trucks, bearings, wheels, hardware, and grip tape. Putting everything together is kind of tedious, so I'll fast forward this part. Okay, we're back, and I brought my board with me. As you can see, I have this little bear on the top, and it's a little sign for me to tell me where my nose is. In other cases, they might be here on the bottom, and that's to tell me where the tail is. The tail usually has more of a concave to it, and it's a little bit higher up, so you can get more of a pop to the board, while the nose is a little bit flat and longer, so you can get a little bit more balance to it. Um, it's good to know where the nose and the tail is, so you can distinguish which side is which, and that way you can know where to put your feet when you're riding. Some people ride with their right foot in the front, by the nose where the bolts are, and pedal with their left. That's called riding goofy. Funny because that's my stance. Riding regular is the opposite movement with your left foot in front and pedaling with your right. And then there's this mongo way of riding. It's really called mongo style. Your foot planted on the board is by the tail and the foot doing all the pushing moves up when you're riding. Since we're a little comfortable with getting on the board, let's go over the basics of an ollie. An ollie is a jump on a skateboard. It's the foundation of all tricks. So let's take a look up close. First thing you do is press down on the tail to get a nice big pop. As you can see, the board is almost vertical and it looks like it's about to take off. Immediately after that, you want to drag your outside part of the foot to gain some traction on the board. It also helps level everything out for a smooth landing. Learning how to ollie may take weeks or even months, but once you got it down packed, you're ready to go. Let's go skate. Yeah, let them know we in the house right now. Yeah, and I'ma show them how to do it. How many beats they had to ruin before you kept them moving? I'm cooler than Calvin Coolidge. I'm maneuver like Herbert Hoover, influencing them moving while they spitting manure. My uncle was crooked as scoliosis, but I'd rather not be sorry.